Welcome everybody back to the Halo CE Anniversary Campaign. This We're coming in too fast. is part two. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? Can you move? The others. Okay, we are on Maybe the ground. Back. There's nothing we can do. Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Time to do a runner. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. That view never gets old. <laughs> this is one of the only halos where you can take down a banshee with a goddamn magnum. It's crazy. Look at that. How powerful is this weapon? Didn't get them both. As soon as you kill the first one, the other one makes a run for it, so you've got to be quick. Or simply aim on target. I love this next section over here, this kind of tower defense style part of the campaign mission. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. Indeed there are. Whatever the Covenant drop you as well. It, it, I'd love to have a sniper rifle or something for this bit. To get lower, drop a few grenades and destroy them before they even have a chance to shoot at me. Right there. Nearly. Looks <laughs> like I'm clocking up another challenge. This would have made a fantastic firefight map. Uh oh, another bandit dropping in behind us. They're trying to flank us. Oh, now that was a good grenade. Oh, I do have some plasma grenades. Oh, 
once again, the elites in this game, they're not dumb. You grenade them, they will panic um, or roar at you and then they will run right at you. And grenades were far more potent, potent in the Halo Combat Evolved as well, so... If they get even remotely close to you, it will kill you. Or at least do serious harm to you. I hit an invisible barrier there. to drive. <laughs> I could have sworn I'd turned these tutorials off. There you go. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network. We're actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. And there is the famous line from this Halo that this cave is not a natural formation, which is that checkpoint in Halo Reach. And there is another terminal for those of you who are wondering. There's one on each mission in Halo Combat Evolved. I believe I have found them all. And got an achievement for them as well. Surprise! Hey mate, that was mine! You stole my kill! Over here! That one's free! Oh man, what a mess! There's another one! We'll get ya! There's no running! Now this bit's full, and as soon as you get near the top, an elite appears, so let's try and grenade him, shall we? Got him. Let's take a quick look at this place before it was uh, remastered, shall we? Oh boy! <laughs> very dark, very dim. But nonetheless, very memorable.
I'll admit, I'm thinking about for the next episode uh, reverting the settings for the audio back to the original instead of this remastered version because the original music and the original sound effects it's quite nostalgic um i like Let's playing go Let's go! sorry marine i like playing with the uh, anniversary graphics but the music Showtime! is better from the original You can't doubt Martin O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore, their work for the Halo games and the Destiny games was absolutely fantastic. There's new traffic on the Covenant Battle Network. A lot more crew made it off the Autumn than I had predicted. The Captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. At least these warthogs aren't dead bouncy. down people go down <laughs> see that's another thing as well the remastered music gets in the way of the vocals um, in the game Cortana just spoke then and I did not hear a single word she said because the remastered Come music on, is completely out of balance the original music does not do that Yahoo! maybe they took cover in that structure let's check it out more over here there it is! Give me an angle! Yeah, that's for you! Which one of you freaks is next? More of them! Alright, let's park this marine out of the way somewhere. Over here! Let's go underground. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. Submarines. I've called for an evac. Roger that. Marines, assemble for evac. Pronto. Enemy. You can be slightly accurate with this Halo CE assault rifle. No, we're near as accurate as the one from Halo Reach, but. You tap the trigger, you can be slightly better at it. That's what I'm talking about. This is actually the way the Marines and the Flood both fire the assault rifle. They tap the trigger instead, instead of uh, holding it down like I am doing. We read you, Echo 419. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. On my way. I spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near a rock slide. And another near the head of the river. Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. A 
acknowledged. We're on our way. I'm just wondering what the Warthog and Faux Hammer looks like in the original graphics. Oh boy! <laughs> and look at that 2D background as well, really pixelated. At least 343 were able to add a bit more depth. Banshees that spawn now. Someone's free. I've always gone in the same order to these uh, drop ships. I'll call in a dropship to pick them up. Now we get a sniper rifle. I like the design of this Halo CE sniper rifle. It's definitely better than the original sniper rifle look. Um, I think they tried to make it a bit more in line with the Halo Reach sniper rifle. It still fires the same way. And challenge done. A terrible grenade. Oh, I get stuck. for the price of one. Oh, nearly. There we go. Final lifeboat. One thing I do like doing, I don't know why, but I like go, go, making go. the Marines get in the Pelican. I kind of care about the Marines a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm never going to make it up that. Through the cave we go. Warning. I picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command crew. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Flush him out! 
Nobody on this side. You got it. Oh yeah, there's a Marine with a sniper and he, he goes ham with it in this uh, uh, part. It's ridiculous. You can just hear him firing it off four rounds every single time. this looks like. <laughs> that very typical global illumination that was used back then. Oh, hello. Their shields were a lot more see-through back then. Three bullets left, make them count. Where are you gonna appear? Battle.net. I found Captain Keyes. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers upspin. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Ready for dust off. We should move out, Lieutenant. And then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. So that was part two of Halo completed. Thank you everyone for joining me. If you are enjoying this content, please do consider giving me a subscribe and leaving a rating of your choosing. It is very appreciated. I will see you guys in part three, which will be the truth and reconciliation. Thank you very much for joining me.